this proves that I'm filming this on the same day that I did for last week's video because I'm listening to the same song. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hello, my name is Charlotte. Today I'm going to be doing a video, it's a, it is a tag and I was actually tagged in the tag, which is awesome, I love that. I've never actually done a video or a tag where I've actually been tagged in it. So this is very exciting. This is called the small booktuber tag. I'm looking down at my laptop so I can, you know, actually see the questions. This is the small booktuber tag. I don't know who it was created by. I'm literally just going off of the person who tagged me and that is Ali Grace over at Ali Grace Story. You should definitely go and check her out. And oh, my camera's just moved, I feel. You should definitely go and check Ali Grace out. She's amazing, love her channel, just love her as a human being. So definitely go check her out. I'll go and link her in the description below. She did link the questions and I think in her her video she said that the original video is deleted or is unavailable the video is unavailable so i don't actually know who created it i'll still link below the place where ali grace got her questions there are seven questions or like six really i'm just gonna jump into it gonna answer these questions i love doing tags because a lot especially with these ones i don't have to plan i can just say what comes to my mind so question one not really a question but introduce yourself hello my name is charlotte I am 20, I am from England, I was born and raised in Brighton and I still kind of live there but I go to university in Canterbury. I study film, I have a cat, I have a hamster, I have an obsession with too many actors and when I say obsession my IRL friends will know. I love myself a good actor because I just kind of get upset. I, that's a whole other video, okay let's not go into that. We'll move on because I could introduce myself in so many ways but let's move along. Question two is how long have you been on booktube? Well technically I've um, been on booktube for nearly three years, technically, te if we're being technical here. So basically I think at the end of 2016 I started my channel and I posted my first video, I th oh it might have been at the beginning of 2017 I might post my first video, but I was planning on you know filming and doing all that at the end of 2016. So I kind of started 20 end of 2016, beginning of 2017. So I was posting videos for about just over a year until kind of... God, when would it have been? Like May, April time of 2018. But then I decided to kind of take a break or kind of just like stop because I just felt like I wasn't getting the most out of it and I wasn't having a lot of fun doing it. I think because I wasn't engaging with the community as much, it just felt like a bit of a chore and I just felt like I wasn't really, I wasn't happy doing it and I wasn't having fun. But it wasn't until this summer just gone that with just how the book community grows and how amazing the book community is, I decided to kind of come back and to sort of restart my channel, even like rebranded it, renamed it. It was early August, I posted my first video and I've been going ever since. So technically nearly three years, but this kind of section of my channel has been August, September, October, November. So for me, four months, but when you see this, it'll be like more like five months. Question number three is what types of videos do you make? Obviously in booktube terms, I make wrap ups, reading vlogs, tags when I want to slash are tagged in them, if I will ever be tagged in one after this. What other videos do I make? I'm blanking on every other oh, book calls. And well, that's what I've been making for now. Once this term of university is over and I'm not having to read set fiction books for university and I have more leeway and more like control over what I wanna read. And hopefully I want to start making more creative and original videos. But that also does depend on my creativity and my thoughts and what happens in my brain <laughs> when that comes along because I could end up saying that I want to do all these, but when it push comes to shove, I might not have any creative thoughts or any video ideas to make. So those are what I have been making, but obviously I do want to branch out, maybe be a bit more creative. And obviously once I'm done with university, I will have more leeway and more kind of like time to do that. Obviously then I've got to get a job. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Question four is what do you love about booktube? The community. The community, honestly. When actual non-creators hear book, book creators say that, they're like, oh, that's so cheesy. Everyone says that. I can't be that good. It is. The community of BookTube is brilliant. We have our ups and downs. We have our dramas. But when push comes to shove, we are such an amazing community. And I think it's just because we all know that we're in the same boat. We all know that we're a bunch of book nerds making videos on the internet about us fangirling over books. So the book community is generally this most amazing thing, especially on Twitter. I'm in an amazing like BookTuber chat or group chat on Twitter and I love them all so much. Everyone is just so nice. Even like people that, even some of the bigger booktubers who might not follow you, they still interact with you. I just love the community, they're so wholesome. Also, I think what I love about booktube as a personal thing is that it's motivated me to read more. 
the if it wasn't for booktube i don't think i would have read so many books this year i wouldn't have been reading so much for the past few years so when people are like oh my god how do you read so read so much I'm like get into booktube and you will read more question five is what types of books do you read i read quite a big range i predominantly obviously ya is like the main thing but if we go into more subsections contemporary fantasy i do want to get more into horror even if that's both YA and adult because when I do read horror books I really really enjoy them so I want to get into that more I want to read more thrillers but my predominant kind of genres are contemporary and fantasy but I am trying to and trying to like branch out but I do read a wide variety non-fiction and kind of stuff like that and like memoirs aren't up there and aren't like my most favorite and the ones I read all the time and for them it does depend on what and who so if it's a memoir it will, or an autobiography it does depend on who it is like I read Michelle Obama's or listened to Michelle Obama's book and obviously I love that because it was Michelle Obama if it was like somebody I've never heard before I'm obviously not gonna read it because I'm not interested in who they are so it does depend on who they are and when it comes to like other non-fiction books it depends on the subject matter I would say that I read a good variety of books I think the only kind of genre of books that I don't reach for and I don't really enjoy as much is classics because I just don't enjoy classics because I just find them boring. Question number six is what's your favorite video that you've made? I think my vlogs, I can never like pinpoint one vlog because there's always so many vlogs that I have more key moments in that I really enjoy. The vlog that I, the last vlog that I posted, one that's titled Pub Girl Ben Barnes in brackets again and productively reading, I think that's what it's called. I think because I, as in that vlog as it says in the title I went to, did I did pub golf with my friends I went on a pub call with my friends and I filmed some stuff there and I edited it really cool so I really like that other than vlogs I think the one I am most proud of is my fashion and books tag that was a, an original video that I made with other people on booktube and we spent like two months kind of sorting that all out and filming it and editing it and getting it up it was just really rewarding when we did put it up because the love from the community was really nice so many uh, other booktubers that you know I'm not necessarily know I don't I don't necessarily know and you know, I'm, I'm not in a sense friends with. They were reacting to it and were really excited about it because obviously there was more than one of us that created it. So I think that is definitely one I'm very proud of because it was it was in the works for a couple of months. I think it was just so fun to work on it, get it up and then have been working with those people. It was just really rewarding. And I think, yeah, I definitely think that's one of the videos I'm most proud of, one of my favorite ones. And question number seven is to tag people. I did say on my book, my book twitter chat who hasn't been tagged but it, while i'm filming this it's half 10 in the morning in the uk so i think a lot of them who are from the us are asleep right now the one person i know i will tag is louisa over on louisa josephine i think that's her, i think that is definitely her channel name i will link her in the description below she is great i'll tag louisa link her in the description below go check her out so that is it for the small booktuber tag i hope you all enjoyed it let me know in the comments below maybe your some of your answers to these questions or if you've done this video let me know i might check it out thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here all my links all my social media links are in the description below for you to check out to stalk me and i will hopefully see you all in my next video